Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrapcraftastic, and I thought I would bring you along for a little organization uh, trip that I'm on right now. I am making my own disc bound notebooks that are letter size. I am using the Dollar Tree chopping mat, so I've already cut this one down. I cut it to nine by 11 and a half so that it can hold letter size paper. So what I'm working on, I'm doing one for all the recipes that I print out. This is just an example of one, and I've already created the notebook for this. This is the chopping mat. I rounded the corners and put on some tool discs. I'm using the discs that I have already. So these are a little small, but I think they'll hold up for a while. Um, I only have this one recipe in here for now. I have some others uh, around, but I only have this one on my desk. So I'm gonna punch it in a minute, but before I punch it, since I already have this set, to punch the chopping mats. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and round the corners. I'm using these, the Dollar Tree chopping mats. Now, these are 11 by 14. You get two per pack for $1.25. So I could leave it at 11 in height but and get more out of the chopping mat, but I wanted to make the height a little bit more so that I would have a little more protection for the papers on the inside. So that's why I went with 11 and a half instead of 11 and nine in width. That gives me some room if I wanna add tab dividers that I can. So let's go ahead and around the corners, I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder. I used half inch on the first one, so I think I'm just gonna use half inch on this one too. And this corner chomper is good for punching multiple pages and more heavy duty things like this. So, and these are the latest uh, mats that I purchased. So both sides are matte. Unlike some like these, I think these were older. They're matte on one side and glossy on the other side. You see the difference? So that's why I went ahead and used this one here. But I like these better because you can use them for a multitude of things and not have to worry about the glare. All right, so the reason I didn't go ahead and punch the paper is because I already have this set. This is the ARC punch, the heavy duty punch. I will link to it in the description box below as well as the we are memory keepers or we are what are they called now we are makers something like that anywho i'll link to them in the description box below everything that i can so i'd already set this to be pretty much centered but i guess this is a little off so i'm gonna punch Oop. there we go And let's see, can I get this centered? All right. So the heavy duty punch does really well with these as well. Since I've done both covers, I can go ahead and reset this to letter size and punch my paper so that I can show you. I guess I'm gonna need this again, so let me not put it up. So this is how this can go. And then I can use my Cricut to do some vinyls to put on here or something like that. I don't know if I will, cause I'm not really good with that. Um, it's too much work, really. <laughs> um, I may just print something. Wow, that's so clear. I may just print something to put on top that just says recipes. And eventually I can put dividers to divide the different recipes that I have in here. So that is gonna be my, my recipe book. And then I have some more tool discs. These are one and a half inch discs. I'm sure I bought them on sale from Office Depot. And let's use some of these um, to make this notebook. Now this one I'm using the bigger disc because I'm sure I'll have more that I'll be putting on here. So, let's push these out. 
All right, so let's see. I hope I have enough. I think you need 11 discs for two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Okay, yeah. I think you need 11 discs for the letter size or the big, if you're a happy planner person. So I will be keeping, I may eventually divide this up. Um, I have to see what my disc situation is, but I will be keeping like warranties and household information, pet information in here. I know that all seems to be like uh, several different things, but I just want to see how it's going to work out first before I do too much. So, all right. So there we go. The beginnings of my home notebook. Now... This is what I have to put in here. So my cat had some issues and I've taken her to the vet several times. And these are the bills from the vet and information about her visits. So I want to keep these in here, but it's that thin receipt paper. So I think I need to put some washi tape on the edge. I don't really like this washi tape, but I guess I can use it. Put some washi tape on the edge of the receipt so that it will have a better punch, maybe. Okay, these are a little damaged because they've been floating around. All right, probably won't need it on this one, but let's put it anyway, since it's, cause it's got another paper stapled to it, but let's, just in case. Oh, that fell off already. Okay. So those are reinforced. Wow, I spent a fortune. Then me and my youngest son got a KitchenAid mixer for Christmas. So I want to, even though I registered online for it, I want to keep this registration card in there, in here, with the information for the mixer because it had, I wrote down the model number and the serial number and all of that so i think i'll put like uh, registrations in the back here all the way in the back and i'll make dividers for this eventually and then i'll put the pet stuff in front of that and then any other home stuff will go in front of that i could get these to lay down flat that would be great all right so let's punch this one put it in all right and then let's do this one Hopefully the washi tape will help hold it in place since this paper is so thin. I also considered folding them in half and punching them that way at the top and bottom to put them in. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. I'll see how well it works. I might have to put more washi tape. But fortunately, this will be something that I'm not constantly flipping through like a planner. So I may even end up using those Joanne discs that I had that don't work well. I might even use, end up using some of those for some of this. So that is how that's going to go. This is probably going to be bulky and yeah. But I just want to pop on and show you how I was doing this. If I do anything more as far as setting these up. I will come back and show you what I do to improve upon them. Other than that, if you want to organize this and a couple of Dollar Tree chopping mats is a great option as long as you have a way to punch. You can do the punching hack 
where you use a regular hole punch and some scissors to make your punches. You just have to measure um, where you want to do those punches. Now, this is hard for me because you got to have some strength in your hands to do this. There's also, see, yeah, this is really, really hard to do. Um, but I do have a heavy duty punch, but just say that was punched out. Then you would just take your scissors and cut the slit. I'm sure there's lots of videos that show how to do this. I just can't apply the pressure, enough pressure to punch that hole. But We Are Memory Keepers also has a, a punch, a mushroom punch that can punch those holes as well. And they also have a heavy duty hole punch that can do it. So there are options and ways to do it. And some of these tools are a good investment because you use them over and over again for different things. And yeah, so anywho, that is how you can make your own notebook so that you can organize your recipes, your home binder, your health uh, information. Like I get papers for insurance approvals all the time. So I'm thinking of making a third one just for that. We'll see how this goes. So let me know what you think about this. Do you find it helpful? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and you may be interested in this other video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.